Homes, hundreds of migrants continue to be dropped off daily in the San in the San Diego area, all in an effort to alleviate overcrowded processing facilities. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen is live for us in San Ysidro, where resources are running low. Ariana. That's right, and it's unclear why there's a sudden surge of migrants here for the past month, but volunteers tell me that U.S. Customs and Border Protection has not been transparent. Volunteers tell me hundreds of migrants have been dropped off by the bus loads here at the Iris Transit Center in San Ysidro every day for the past month. We are so excited to be here in the United States of America. The people dropped off here have traveled from all over the world, including Colombia, Peru, India, and China. Africa is not uh, very hard. Yeah, it's very hard to live. They say they're here looking for a better life and to follow the American dream. Happy, happy, very, very happy, very, very happy. Brave, hard work uh, to make my dream true. The people here have gone through the proper screening and are trying to figure out the next part of their journey. Volunteers with the nonprofit All Otro Lado are here to do just that. They've set up at the transit station to give migrants guidance and help them reunite with family members that got separated at the border. Yesterday I get chills because I helped a gentleman find his wife and his two babies. Some people helping um, people buy flights. Um, unfortunately, since we're all nonprofits um, and this has been going on for a month, most of our funds have been depleted. Al Otrolado isn't the only nonprofit helping and struggling to continue to provide service. Other organizations are giving out free food and clothing. It brings tears to my eyes to see that San Diego's not doing anything for these people. But they say they need more volunteers and more help. We need help. We need donations, water, clothing, food, shelter, and we're at capacity in San Diego. And these people deserve a second chance of life. We need help, San Diego. Ready, they give us food free, sleep free, everything. We are so, God bless America. God bless you. God bless your family. Since September 13th, Border Patrol has dropped off more than 13,000 migrants in San Diego, and the influx doesn't seem to be slowing down. And what nonprofit volunteers say they need most is volunteers to help provide shelter and transportation. Kirsten. All right, Ariana, what can viewers do to help out in this situation at our border? Well, Kirsten, what they can do is they can go to the Haitian Bridge Alliance website or they can just show up here in person to volunteer. Kirsten. All right, thank you for that, Ariana. I've been out to the border several times. There are a lot of people who show up to lend a helping hand. Thank you for that live report.